Okay, what's up, guys? This is Tom Taylor with South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts. On the other side of the screen over there is Jackie Buntan. Jackie, it's been a while since I've spoken to you. Uh, how's how's everything? How's your day going? The day is going pretty good. I'm in the gym right now. I just finished with some private, so I'm in my car. But the day is good. Training is good. Life is good. Can't complain. <laughs> Awesome. Well, that's that's great to hear. Um, it's been a minute since we've seen you you fight. Obviously, the last one was was the fight with Smila Sundell in April. Um, what have you been up to since then? Like, is there any particular reason you haven't gotten back in there? Uh, anything going on? What, what what's been going on? No. Um, one has known that I've I've been ready to go for quite some time now. I've been training and doing everything, you know, as usual. So, just waiting for the next one, really. Cool, cool. Well, we're all very excited to see you back in there. I know I certainly am. Um, you've definitely been staying busy from the looks of it, though. As you said, you've been training, you've been doing privates and all this, but you were also in the Philippines recently uh, doing some shooting for for One Warrior Series Philippines. Um, I guess first question about that is, uh, just how was that experience? It must have been pretty cool, right? Yeah, it was a really cool experience. Um, and again, yeah, I was there for the first time ever, and I luckily I was able to bring my mom along with me when championship allowed mom to be on the bts side of it <laughs> so it was really cool to experience that with my mom there she was born and raised there they left the philippines with my older sisters and my dad like while i was still in my mom's stomach mm -hmm. so she hasn't been back since like maybe 2007 2008 so it's been a while for her also but yeah no definitely helped having her there because i'm not fluent in tagalog so it was definitely a lifesaver <laughs> Well, were there any fighters on the cast that, that really impressed you? I, I watched the episode that, that you were in. Um, I'm assuming it was just one episode, but uh, was there anyone that really jumped out at you? I know you were kind of uh, impressed by by the kid McCleary. Was there anyone else off the top of your head? Um, there was a few. All of them were very talented. You know, these, first of all, I, I want to like point out these guys weren't like random athletes in, across the Philippines. You know, the, the team hand selected these athletes like best of the best of current champions you know whatever discipline they're in so all of them really really were talented but yeah McCleary was one that kind of stood out just because very young and very talented and you know he he looked like he looked like he very well in all aspects because I know it's MMA but he, his ground game looked good his striking looked good um, but yeah all of them were, were really really great and I really wish them all the success in their career mm-hmm Super cool. So just like looking out over the whole cast, like you saw a level of talent that you think can do well in one championship generally. Definitely. I definitely saw a couple of people that would, I think style wise would, would hold up in one championship. Mm -hmm. um, there used to be a lot of uh, Filipino champions in, in one uh, at this point, there aren't so many. I mean, it's just Joshua Paschio left at this point. Um, you know, having seen this young talent over there, do you kind of get the sense that maybe there's a, a second wave of Filipino fighters about to, to take over in one? Totally. I, I could totally see that. And I think that goes, you know, again, witnessing it firsthand in the Philippines, I could totally see another champion being crowned for one championship coming from the Philippines. But I feel like that goes for any discipline, any, you know, any country you're representing. There's always like definitely a new wave of up and comers mm -hmm. ready Very to well prove said. themselves. Yeah. Yeah, well said. There's a lot of talent out there. Um, so we know that the winner of the show is going to debut in the Philippines in, in early December. Um, there's two cards back to back at that point. Would that sort of be like the ideal situation for you getting back in there? Like, would you hope to land on one of those cards? A hundred percent. I mean, I think it's only right having <laughs> being Filipino American. Like, I think that'd be so awesome to go back and, and compete there. You know, prior to signing a one, one of my interviews, I even mentioned like it'd be so awesome to fight in Manila. Um, mm -hmm. I have family out there too. I feel like the energy would just be insane. Yeah, I mean, it makes a ton of sense, you know, especially given that one hasn't been over there in, in such a long time because of the pandemic. And and now that you've done the show, you, you they kind of owe you one, right? I feel like they've got to push you on the on the sh on this on one of these shows, right? Yeah, we're hoping. <laughs> so, any ideas who you'd like to fight next? Like, have you sized up the the division at all? Is there anyone jumping out at you? I mean, I feel like I always say this, but honestly, anybody they want to give me, anybody and everybody, I feel like our division strawweight Muay Thai is kind of getting a little more structured out now with the more of like a clear path to rankings almost there's still some people who have been haven't fought in a while but anyone <laughs> mm -hmm. um when you look at the division though like do you feel like you know you mentioned that they've signed some new fighters it's starting to flesh out a little bit but do you feel like one kind of needs to step it up a little bit maybe signing fighters for this weight class 
Mm. I, I haven't really thought about that. I feel like I'm kind of just more focused on the, the athletes who are, who are already signed. Some of them not having fought since, you know, I don't know, two, three years ago. Some of them who've maybe only fought once, stuff like that. So I think like you have a roster of athletes, keep them active. Let's see, you know, get or build our way to a clear ranking system. Obviously, Smilo's champion, but besides that, I feel like the more active we get the athletes who are currently signed, the clearer path we have for, in order to see the ranking system. Mm -hmm. Well said. Um, you mentioned Smila a moment ago. She also hasn't fought since since you guys shared the circle uh, back in April. Are you surprised at all that she hasn't gotten back in there since? Um, honestly, not really. Just because, you know, she's champion now. So I'm sure her next fight, she's going to be defending the belt. And I'm sure they want to see who's going to be the one to step in there again. And I definitely have plans to be that one. Mm hmm. Uh, well, that sort of leads perfectly into my next question. You know, assuming you can get on one of these upcoming cards, maybe the, the cards in the Philippines in December and you get out there and get a nice win. Do you think it's you know conceivable that you could get right back into a title shot after that? Yeah, I mean, whether I, you know, if it's one fight, two fights, three fights, I'm not like <laughs> I'm not like adamant, like I want it now. I want my next fight to be this rematch. It's like they want to give it to me after one fight, however many fights I'm totally open to that I just keep the same you know attitude and mentality is just keep working mm -hmm. hard keep getting experience and the rest will come mm -hmm. uh, now I'm guessing you've you've done a lot of thinking about that first fight since uh since it happened um and I know I asked you about this last time I talked to you you know right after that fight but uh you know just having had some some more time to think about it now is there anything you really kind of wish you did differently or you know anything in, in a second fight with Smila that you'd make sure you did differently to, to try to make it go your way yeah, I feel like there's like a, it wasn't like, oh, the, you know, the whole game plan went to waste. I don't think that's true. Um, I think the moments I executed it, it went well, but there are also moments where I could have went about things differently in terms of just like example, um, I parry punches. Um, and I feel like most of the time, a good amount of the time, I, I'm successful at that. But I feel like given the length advantage of not only her height, but like her limbs in general are, you know, much longer. I feel like pairing punches weren't the best idea at that point. So little things like that, you know, working on defense, working on keeping her away more with certain strikes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's always stuff to work on. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Um, so, you know, it goes without saying that you're fairly confident if you got if you got another shot at her, you'd, you'd get it done this time. I believe so. Yeah. And that to me would kind of kickstart a, a trilogy, I, I would assume, right? If you guys were one and one. I, I think it'd only be right. I think that's usually how it goes, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that first fight was very good. I would certainly have no objections to that if it happened. Um, switching gears a bit, your good friend, your training partner, Janet Todd, will be back in action soon. She's unifying her title with, with Alicia Rodriguez. Um, what do you think of that matchup? It's a, it's a really good one. What, what are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I am so excited for that matchup. And I know a lot of everybody else is as well. You know, Alicia's a really good fighter. I like her style. She's fun to watch. Of course, always betting my money on Janet. I really am confident she's will be the actual, you know, Muay Thai world champion, the Adam Weight one world champion. I'm you know, I, I always say it, she just keeps getting smarter, stronger, better. At, mm -hmm. you know, win or loss, she she's just always getting better. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you're, you know, you're sort of a fan of Alicia's fighting style. Um, you know, assuming that you've watched quite a few of her fights, what do you think she does well? Like, what does Janet need to be careful of in this matchup? Um, I feel like, you know, that goes for her and her, her gym in general. They definitely have a style to them where they're, they're good at being in front of you, not necessarily like running at you you know, in a crazy pace, but they're able to keep that pace where they're just constantly in front of you. So just, you know, we're aware of that and just being able to deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of Janet, I've got to ask you about this stuff with Anissa. There's obviously, you know, a lot of things being said about this potential fight between them. And, and most of it seems to be coming from, from Anissa's camp, frankly. Um, I mean, what, what do you make of, of this situation? Everything they're saying about her, you know, ducking the fight, avoiding the fight or whatever. I feel like we've, I mean, Janet's not on social media. She's very, you know, she hasn't been on social media for like ever. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like my coach mentioned it in one post. I feel like that's the only post he had to ever <laughs> mention it because we're not really the type to feed into that stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she's not running or ducking away from everyone. There's, you know, when that fight comes and there's an actual contract sent to both parties, I'm more than sure it's going to happen. But that can't mm-hmm. happen with no contract being sent, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't think there's any any question or anything about Janet being afraid of that matchup or anything. She's proven she's a real champion, and hats off to her for getting off social media too. Social media kind of sucks these days, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. I feel like I should maybe take a page out of her book some days. <laughs> yeah, easier said than done. Um, speaking of Anissa, she has an interesting challenge coming up in January. She's fighting Stan Fairtex in a, in a special rules fight. Um, now I know there's a little bit of heat between your camp and Anissa's camp, but but will you be watching that one? And and what do you think of that matchup? Yeah, no, I think it's, you know, Anissa is a good fighter, talented fighter. I think it's a great match. It'll be really entertaining. Um, obviously, we've been able to see Stamp in MMA, and she's been doing quite well. Um, I've never seen Anissa in MMA, so I, I don't know how it would go. But they're both, at least in striking, both great strikers. So mm-hmm. I think it's going to be really entertaining regardless. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've been asked this a million times. Uh, every fighter in one has at this point. Are you interested in these kinds of special rules attractions? If one came to you and offered you a fight that was half Muay Thai, half MMA against some big name, is that an opportunity you'd be interested in? Yeah, I mean, I'd be interested in it. Never say never, but like, I, I don't think that's on my radar anytime soon. I haven't or ever trained any ground game, but mm-hmm. it's something I'd be open to later down the road. Uh, mm-hmm. Once I achieve what I want to achieve within Super Series striking and and Muay Thai kickboxing, maybe. <laughs> so the focus for you for the time being is just uh, getting back in there and then eventually working your way back to the Muay Thai title and potentially the kickboxing title after that, correct? Yeah, I think it's important and crucial to get your rounds in. I don't think, you know, competing for a world title is obviously, the, you know, a dream, but regardless, I, at the end of the day, it's getting your rounds in, getting experience, getting time in that circle. I think that's what I that matters most um well it looks like a beautiful day there i don't want to keep you for too long um let's wrap it up with this do you have a message for all the people supporting you uh as you prepare for your next fight i just want to say yeah thank you to everybody you know i feel like even though i've been kind of out of action for for a bit for a minute now everyone's still supporting me i still get great messages so it's really cool to see even though i'm not competing currently i still get a lot of love so thank you to everybody who rides with me